What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's PropyJN. Welcome back. Welcome. Hey. It nice is story. episode two of Back to the Future. Uh, I, I had it custom made. So we're replaying re yeah. just a little Probably bit. We've just infiltrated Kid Tannen's um, group. The name's uh, Sonny Crockett. One of you. I'm, one of you I'm, go I'm gonna try and make sure I do the same no. stuff that I did before. What's the dough? Spill it or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? That's so. Uh, yes? Prove it. You ain't leaving till you show me some bona fide. Alright. So we'll grab the inventory again, grab the gun. I've got a little something here that might convince you. Oh. Don't even blink. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti. Yep. <laughs> so we successfully infiltrate. For it, it's weird. Service. It's so weird. Jay Valenti. Looks like little Sonny Crockett here really is with the Sacramento boys. You got stones, Pee Wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink on the house. Matches, put down your gun. You look like a moron. <sighs> All right, so where do we have to go from here? We have to try and get Arthur back. So what we learned in the last episode was that the woman on stage who's singing, she's the one that's meant to go off. She's meant to testify against Kid Tannen, but she never testifies because Arthur was missing. And there he is there. Hey, Artie. He's back. All right, so we got to follow the tram line? I think? I don't know. Hopefully the game's running okay as well. It seems to be freezing a little bit. Um, that's why I've, I've waited a couple days to do another episode on this, because I've been freaking out that it's just going to freeze. But um, hopefully it's all uh, pretty good. Okay, so I managed to go back and talk to Trixie. I've gotten all the information I need. And she actually handed me his pipe, so I'm thinking, because we can't find him, Maybe if we get the pipe to Einstein, he might be able to, to go sniffing for him and, and help us find him. Just a thought. There we go. Come on, Artie. Uh, Einie. No, oh, no, no. Don't run away from the dog, you fucking idiot. Go, Einie. Where is hey, he? Boy, take a whiff of this. Where is he? Where are they? I love that nose. Yeah, he's a smart dog. He is in there. Okie dokie. I've been laying low, officer, but I've got to go to the pictures once in a while. Okay. Hello, officer. I'll take it from here. But, but. We can talk at the Majestic, away from prying eyes. Yep. Nicely yeah, Einstein. done. Yeah, Einstein. good. Einstein's, he's, he's fucking good. So now do I go tell Trixie where he's staying, or do I go to them first? Let's go, let's try going to them, and seeing whether Arthur's actually going to, to kind of chat with us first. Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Oh, uh, never mind. Okay. Be careful. All right. If I tell her that he's up there, then we should be all hunky dory. Logic would logic would assume. Although lo logic's never really been on my side. But we'll see how it goes. Alright, come on. Hopefully she's not back up singing yet. Welcome back, sir. Thank you, sir. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? Uh we already know that. We already know where we know where Arthur is, so that's uh, that's the big uh, one. Trixie? Yeah. All right, I found I Arthur. I found Arthur. He's staying at the Majestic Arms. That flea bag? He's too classy for that. Yeah. Well, anyway, you want to pop over there right now and talk to him about this evidence yeah. you got? I can't take more than a five-minute break. Get him to come here. Oh, I can't. I'm not sure he'd find this place inviting. Then I guess he might say we're stuck at an impasse. Oh uh, no! 
Hey, you can trust me. Come on, what's the dirt you got on Kim? Yeah, what's the dirt? on that, I ain't spilling nothing till I talk with Arthur Mc... Oh, F-L-Y. All right. Break a leg out there. Thanks. Okay, what do I... I have to get him drunk or something, do I? Hey, back off, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here. Um, can I core for him? The only thing I want to break this bottle on is one of those goons' heads. Okay. Can I point the gun at him? I'm not pulling that thing out in here again unless it's a life or death situation. All right, that's fair enough as well. How am I going to do this? Trixie and I to make that both need to move. But Alpha will have to move further. Doc is now an office keeper. He can get the account to wherever he needs to be. Ah, oh, that's very true. Okay, okay. Sometimes I need those hints. I know that people, like, don't like when I use the hints that much. They're like, oh, you're just cheating all the way through the game. Sometimes I need the hints. I I'm really not good at games. This, if you've watched this channel for ages, you know that this channel is not built on, like, being the best at fucking video games. Quite the opposite. Alright. So, we need to get Doc to get Artie over to them, uh, to her. And then we'll be hunky dory. Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. Alright, let's do it. What's the problem? We need to get Arthur the Trixie. Is Artie still here? He's in the bathroom. Hey, Artie, open up. You've got a gangster to bring down. Is it time for me to meet this Sylvia? No. no. It's time for you to meet Trixie. Trixie says she's got something that might be able to send Kid up the river, but that you're the only one she trusts to check it out. Yep. Me? What is she? Oh, I know what she's done. Clever. Okay. Can I in on the secret? Sorry, guys, but if Trixie's keeping it a secret, then so am I. Oh, uh, come on, dude. Good, Mr. McFly, but if you and Trixie are going to collaborate on this evidence, we'll need to arrange a rendezvous. Well, Trixie's chained to kids speakeasy. So we'll have to bring Arthur to Trixie. Uh-uh. Yeah, no there's way no way I'd send him in there either. Near that place again. I don't know how you talked me into this. Just All right. stay back here in the shadows and don't come out until you see Trixie. You're sure I'll be safe here? No, I'm really not. We'd never make you take any unnecessary... <gasps> Sagan. Where's kid? Oh, shit. Oh, Don't shit. Worry. Oh, are you gonna make me go with you to, like, hunt him down? Oh, no, I can see that that's gonna happen. Welcome back, sir. Thanks, mate. Good to see you. What's it gonna take to... All right. He's outside. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? He's the outside. Guess who's waiting in the alley to talk with you? Huddy? The one and only. It wasn't easy to track him down. I had Cover to- Cover for me, Q-Ball. I'm taking a smoke break. Yep. Had a girl. Nicely done, nicely done. Oh no, he's getting suspicious. Hey, you. Yes? Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my unit. What? Yeah, uh, no. Hey, pal, I don't have time for a fight. Why, you? Why now? I'll never get to Carnegie Hall at this rate. No, All no, you right, won't. Fella, I think you're done for tonight. Hey, where do you think you're going? What? Me? Yeah, you. What do you know about this? Uh, nothing. I. Ah! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> Did she just shoot him? Oh. Oh, he gunned him down. Break silver cue ball. <gasps> no. Whatever you say, babe. No. What was that? What happened? Uh, Trixie? Yeah? What happened? What happened in the alley with Arthur? I don't want to talk about it. Oh no! Break a leg. Thanks. No, 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 no. Oh no, he's gonna be dead. Oh shit. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh 
No. Artie? <laughs> you missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid, well, what happened? Oh, you're gonna love this. So okay. I'm at the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? I come out into the alley, and who do I see? None other than that scrawny subpoena answering rat, Artie McFly. Oh, get this. shit. The little worms whispering away all conquistadorial like with my Trixie. Oh, no. Naturally, I pull out Kid Jr. and prepare to put a couple bullets in McFly's head, which causes Artie's nose to start bleeding because he's a big wuss. Oh. And then, <laughs> and then <laughs> what? Trixie literally gets down on the knees and begs me to let him live. Oh, shit. <laughs> huh? Seriously, down on the knees, crying and begging for McFly's life. So, uh, what did you do? What could I do? I fired two shots in the air and told Artie to take a hike. Okay. Oh, that was merciful. Hey, I got plenty of mercy. Besides, now Trixie owes me big time, and Kid Tannen oh, always no. his debts. Always. Oh no, that's fucked things over then. Shit. That's really fucked things over. Okay, we need to get back to the hotel, make sure he's okay first, and then we can move forward with the next thing. Alright. Make sure he's okay. Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. Where's Artie? What's the problem? Meeting was the a fault. The rendezvous was a bust, Doc. Tana caught Artie and Trixie in the alley. Trixie begged for his life, but now she's acting weird. You better talk to her before she does something rash. Fuck. Okay. Be careful. Okay, so we gotta go back again. Oh, God. This is really... Uh, I don't feel like this is gonna end well. I really don't. Marty, you be careful. Oh, gee. <laughs> Every time I think of Marty McFly now, I think of fucking... <laughs> I think of Morty. Oh, I don't think it's a good idea, Rick. Welcome back, sir. Oh, gee, thanks. What's it gonna take to... Alright. Alright, what's... what's... okay. Uh, yeah? Okay, about Artie. About Artie McFly. What about him? Have you heard from him? Is he okay? He's okay. Oh, yeah, he, he's okay. Are you sure? Believe me, if he wasn't okay, I'd be the first to Yeah, know. I'd be fucked. I know what happened. I talked to Kid. Oh? He told me about Artie. I know what happened. Oh. It was awesome of you to plead for his life. Yeah. And it was the awesome of Kid to spare it. So you see why I gotta get rid of all the dirt I got on Kid. As long as he's loyal to me, I gotta stay loyal to him. Oh, no. Turn okay, on him. So Kid spared Artie's life, but that doesn't make him a saint. Exactly. Believe me, no one knows that better than me. But if Kid can let Artie off the hook, I guess I can let him off the hook. Know what I mean? No. About Artie McFly. What about him? He's not okay. I think something bad might have happened to him. What? All right, here you we mean go. Kid went back on his promise. Uh, yeah, uh, that's right. All right, that's what I need oh, to do. No, oh poor Artie, poor sweet. That's what I need to do is kind of manipulate it a little that bit. Rattlesnake kid, he can't get away with this. You gonna turn over the evidence you got against him? Am I ever? Just watch me. Wait a minute. What evidence do you have that kid bumped Artie off? Um, it's just a hunch. No, there's- Keep your hunches for the race. Uh... It ain't nice to get a girl all worked up over unsubstantiated rumors. What about- <sighs> Break a leg. Okay, so I can't just bring back blood or anything? Alright, let's go, let's go. We need to bring back proof got... that, um, that something bad happened to Artie. What about the blood? Can we do anything? I guess that's Grandpa's nose blood. Inventory. Uh, here. Yeah, I could put blood on Artie's pipe, and then Trixie would think, Ah, nah, that wouldn't fool her. She knows she gave me that pipe. Okay. Gun. Nah. Okay. Well, it was a good thought. Good thought. I need something of his, I think. So if he's still up there, I need something of his. And then we should be 
good? I think? I'm actually not sure. Okay. Hey Doc, I, what's the problem? Alright, what do we got? Um, meeting was a flop. You better... Yeah, I know that. Are you sure to... Mess or not? Okay. In fact, that seems... Re yeah, 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 yeah. Kid Tanner. I heard Tannin's always such... Okay. okay. I'm not gonna find any help here. Can I try? Can I get uh, Einstein to track him down again? Because it doesn't seem like Artie's actually in there again. So maybe if I can get Einie to track him down again. Oh, here we go. Edna, what? I got a scoop for you. Hey. Oh, what is it? Um. Hmm. Carl Sagan. I can't tell her that. It could get him. Okay. Hey. Oh. Kid Tannen arrested. Yep. Oh, glorious day! When did it happen? Well, it hasn't happened yet, but it's gonna. Keep me yep. posted. Tell me about Trixie. It wouldn't happen to know anything. Kid Tannen's latest conquest? Well, she claims to be a lounge singer from Seattle, but my sources in Washington have never heard of her. Ooh. And honestly, Trixie Trotter, what kind of name is that? Okay. Hmm. See ya. Okay. Can I find Artie again? Is that what I'm meant to be doing? Where's, where's Einie? Well, maybe I'm not. I don't know. Is he in the courthouse? It's closed for the night. Okay. I need help then. In addition to his own talent, Zane is pretty good. Okay. Ah. Talk to Zane about the Wall of Fame. Okay. Which one's Zane? I don't remember. I actually... I completely forget which one he is. I know he's one of Tannen's uh, groupies, but I don't remember which one. That's probably bad. <laughs> alright, alright. See, there's a lot of back and Welcome forth, back, back and forth. Sir. I don't know how many episodes this is, uh, this, the rest of this episode's going to be. Match is Zane. There we go. Hey, bartender. What'll it be? Uh... Okay. So about this uh, portrait gallery of yeah, yours. what about? What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? <clears throat> the caricatures hanging along the wall of honor commemorate those who are no longer ah. on account of having ticked off one Irving Kid Tannen. Oh, you should. The guys, the kids. You killed? should add. Uh, well, of course not. not you should They're add just a him bunch to of it. Guys that kid didn't particularly like, and that at a later date turned up dead. It's uh -huh. a, a, what do you call it? A, a circumstantial coincidence. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. okay. Hmm. About so the wall. Enemies, rock. What are you drawing? What are you drawing? Another celebrity caricature. You drew those? Probably. Draw me. Think you could do a caricature of me? Sure. Okay. Presto! That really doesn't look like me. I didn't have much to work with. Hmm. What happened in the alley? Do you know what happened to Trixie out there? She seems pretty freaked out. You talk weird, you know that? But no, I don't know nothing about the okay. to pour drinks and babysit his crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks for the Next time, order a drink. Now what do I do? How am I gonna do this? Arthur is a dead ringer for the young George McF Oh You should put this one on. You think you could draw a picture of this guy? Sure. Hey, that looks like that Artie McFly think. Yep. Hmm, I never noticed that before. Hey, uh, can you give him a hat like Artie wears? Yeah. Voila! Nice. nice job. Now go tell them. Yes. The New York. That's the best. Oh, that's so good. 
Uh, Trixie? Yeah? About the wall of nice fame. caricatures up there, huh? Yeah, Zane's an ace cartoonist. But it's kind of hard for me to look at all those faces knowing the guys they belong to are all six feet under. Hmm. About Artie McFly. What about him? Have you heard? No, he's not okay. I think so. You think? Yeah. And you think? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think you'd better come back when you. Okay, so I do. I just need to. I need to show her the picture. That's why I need to do. I don't think anyone will be interested in this caricature until it's hanging on the wall of Kids Club. Oh, okay. All right. Let's put it up there. Sorry about this, Dad. All right, here we go. Now that's got to give her something. Uh, Trixie? Yeah. Look who made the Wall of Fame. I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you should check out the Wall of Fame. Why? What is it? All right, she's going to find him. Artie! I don't believe it. We had a deal. Good Artie God. was supposed to be safe. I don't know what to say. Well, oh. I do. Felony tax evasion. Oh. What? Before he died, Artie was teaching me about all sorts of stuff. Literature, history, accounting. And I made a big discovery while I was copying all of kids' books. Oh, shit. This establishment ain't entirely on the up and up. Really? Oh, I knew about all the gangster stuff. That kind of thing yeah. you expect from tough guys like Kid. But when I found out he ain't been paying taxes on his speakeasy profits, well, cheating Uncle Sam is one step over the line. Once I oh, turn this over shit. to the police, they'll throw the book at him. This book. Hey, copper. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. She's going to do it here. That's a stupid thing to do. Oh, no. He's not interested. Figures. Half the police force is in Tannen's pocket. Give me a few minutes right. to work on Yeah, it. let's I do it. Hunch will come around. All right. Boss? Oh, here we go. Don't mind. I'm trying to have a good time here. I think you'll want to see this. Oh, Are shit. You crazy? Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? Yeah. That's just it, boss. It's all over the place. I think our speakeasy arsonist is getting ready to strike again. All right. Oh, here we go. Whoa. That's a cool trick. Can I have a look at the sheep music? Let's go for sad song. Get him in the mood. Come to me, my Here we go. Hopefully this will unwind him a little bit. And he will he'll actually be willing to spill all the beans. Oh, it's working. He's getting sad. All your fears are foolish, Betsy, maybe. Danny. Hey, how you doing, man? Tell me your troubles. So about those troubles. It all started on uh, uh, June 14th. I was chasing down one of Tannen's boys. When this, uh, this car was straight out of Buck Rogers. Ah, Buck Rogers, eh? Nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later, I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub hasn't been heard from since. Oh, that shit. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist. When wow. not one, but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Yeah. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. Oh, shit. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, He's like really sad. Like, he's got really sad. <laughs> he's a had a really sad couple months. And a head case. <laughs> Betty, as in Jennifer's grandma Betty? 
<laughs> what? No, nah, nothing. Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Oh, that ship sailed. What the heck with her? I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. Oh, God. About that secret. That secret? What is it? I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this, I don't think straight. But listen. Yes? I like you. You're my new best friend. Aww. You need to get Shouldn't Tannen. You be arresting Tannen? For what? Well, I like the Okay. It's not too much work. You know, drinking that much is really bad for your health. Yeah. What are you, my mother? More like future grandson-in-law. What? Whoa. Never mind. Yeah, don't go down that path. So, what did he say? Not that secret. I don't think I should tell you. Okay, so he needs yes. to be he needs to be like up, upbeat. See you later. So, we need I'll to change it to something upbeat for him to uh, be willing to tell me. All right, so we need, hmm, secret song called Whisper in My Ear. Hell yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. This is so cool. I love the soundtrack on this. I love all this like 40s and 50s fucking jazz sets. I think they're awesome. Danny. Yeah, what well, about that secret? About that secret. Oh yeah. My secret. Well, you're my pal. Well, I can tell you, but don't let it get out. I've been working for Tannen. Oh no. What? It's true. All I gotta do is look the other way while evidence is getting destroyed or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line and ten make sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my Oh, that's bill. not good. Great deal, huh? No. No, not a great deal. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? What about people we killed? People are getting hurt. Kid's a killer. Ah, that's just rumors and circumnavigational evidence. Although, that wall of fame is pretty spooky. You think so? Oh, God. I've made a horrible mistake. Good. I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back. But when she no, she wants someone done, respectful. She'll never even and talk decent. to me again. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Set it straight, dude. Come on, pull yourself on, together. Danny, pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad. I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. How's that not? Because so you can still bad? fix it. <laughs> Stop drinking you for know, a drinking start. That much is really what are you, my? More like what? Never mind. Get Tannen. I guess now I know why you won't arrest Tannen. You're working for him. Mango. Hang in there. Oh God. All right. Can I change it to a happier song and then get him to fucking to fight back against the? Is there another song? Let's get an angry song going. Let's get him riled up. Hell yeah. What is this feeling that has me in its grip? What has me on the edge and curling my lip? Oh. Worse in the blues or the front page news, it's rage. I'm overflowing. There we go. Let's see if we can get him on the right track. Danny. Get him. Yes, now I know why you won't arrest Tannen. You're working for him. Pull yourself together. Things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? 
None of the words help anymore. I don't think there's anything in the speakeasy that can turn this guy around right now. Hang in there, Danny. Okay, so I put on the wrong music. Okay. Uh, Edna's theme song is entitled You Should Care. And Parker should. Okay. I don't care. Is that right? The You Should Care song? I think this is right. But I'm not 100% sure. You see, I'm sort of independent. I am my own superintendent. Danny. You. Let's do it, man. Trust me. Things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? No. I don't think there's anything in this speaking. Okay, so it's not in here? I'm in oh, I'm happy, go lucky, and then say All right, the only one left that I need to fucking do is, uh, happy? Happy song. Ain't we got fun? Come on, dude. You can do it, Daddy. Alright, let's see if this works. If this doesn't work, then we need to go and do something else. Or we need to find another record. And then, uh, from there... I don't know where we go from there. Trust me, things will get better. No. Okay. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. So I need to find, I need to find something else. Oh, wasn't... Edna has a song, right? What's your song? What was her song? What was your song? Edna, what? Can I have a copy of this song? Do you think I could have a copy of your... Ah, it's called You Should Care. There I've, we go. Uh, got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure. Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. Nice. See, All right, let's do it. This is how we're going to inspire him. To turn the corner. I was like, I'm sure Edna had a song in the last fucking episode. All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, sir. Thank you, sir. That is soldier. Like all right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's put this one in. I really should give these lyrics to someone who could. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Hey, Trixie, look over there. Why? Didn't you see it? No. Ah. Ah, uh, never mind. Yeah, study, study, study. Study your lyrics. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Can I request? Officer hey, Parker. Your song seemed to have a big effect on Officer Parker over there. Yeah. I am humbled and gratified that my musical gifts have fallen upon such receptive ears. Can I have a request? You know, Sister Christian. I don't do religious tunes. Rude. Break a leg. Thanks. Uh, okay. Can I change it to You Should Care? You Should Care. Yes! Here we go. You should care. You should care. What people think of you. She's right. I can't nice. turn my life around. Sure you can. You know what? I used to be a good cop. And yeah, I've had a few bad breaks. Possibly even this is so cool. That was the most interesting way to fucking see the story with someone play out through the fucking music. is be the same good man I always was. And let the chips fall where they may. Alright. Alright. You need to try again. Hey, Miss Trotter. You wanted to speak with me? All right, nice.
Yes! Oh, what? Hi. What happened to my louse of an ex-boyfriend? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I told the chief we need a team of bloodhounds like they got over in Placerville. Yeah, but in the meantime... All right, everyone. Party's over. Everyone out of the speakeasy. Oh, speakeasy. shit. You're mistaken, officer. This is an ice cream pot. Oh, here we go. <laughs> nice try, you. Out! Nicely done, officer. Yeah, he's just waving. He's like, hey, Crockett. you, uh... Yes, sir. Would the Valenti mob be willing to help, uh, defuse this little situation? Yes. Sure, no problem. I'll bring it up in the next, uh, company meeting. Hey, we ain't begging here. Kid just thought JJ might like a piece of the action. Especially now that he's just caught the speakeasy arsonist. Oh, shit. Wait, you mean, Doc? Doc? Uh, you ain't with the Valenti gang at all, are you? What do you know about the arsonist? Come on, you. Off to the station house. Yeah, yeah. The kid's gonna get you, rat. He's gonna get all of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. <laughs> oh, we had well, the same train of thought. That's that. Thanks to Miss Trotter's evidence, the entire Hill Valley Police Force is out looking for Kid and his goons. You don't understand. We've got to find him now. He's captured a friend of mine. Who? Uh, Carl I, Sagan. Never mind. Don't worry. We've got the entire town square sealed off. If Tannen's within a mile of here, we'll find him eventually. Uh, I should have said Judge Browns. I don't think we have time for eventually. Okay, where's Kid? Uh, uh, um. Uh, I need something that's got Kid Tannen. He touched this, right? Do you touch I this? I don't think so. No. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Dunno, why is Einstein here though? Oh, hey, so? Danny. Sorry, pal. Can't talk right now. I've got crap. Okay, what's the plan? 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 Uh, uh try looking around the alley. Maybe it's a maybe kid left something behind. Okay. Oh wait, wasn't he whizzing out here? Wasn't that what he was doing out here? Like taking a whiz? Ah, Fosk. Irving there we go. Kid Tannen. Guess he dropped this on his way out. It's empty. Of course it is. Figures. All right, come on, Ernie. No, no, no. I know what I'm doing. Force of habit. All right, come on, Ernie. Hey, Ernie, get your nose over here. Come on. All right. I really don't think Tan and the Doc are with Herbert Hoover, Einie. Oh, secret okay, door? Okay, I'll check it out. There's a secret door. A button. All right, Doc, here I come. All right, let's do it. Oh! What are you doing here? Uh, never mind. Come here and help me get rid of this stinking arsonist. Edna, I caught her planting dynamite while he was clearing out the soup kitchen. Oh, Guess Sagan was innocent after all. I was researching a story, you ignoramus. Sell it to St. Peter's sister. Hey, what's all this? Parker, Tannen, oh. you're under arrest. Get him, Sacramento boy. I can't do that, kid. What? Oh, I get it. Why don't you let go of Miss Strickland and call it a night? Yep. Hey, look over there. You're a dickhead. Watch out. Oh, you're a dickhead. Give it up, Tannen. The alley's blocked off and so are the roads out of town. It's over. Over? Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. Well, this is terrifying. Jesus Christ. Defeat him. Uh. Hit him with the boss. Come again. 
no one mess all right uh oh nice she got the door open for me had a girl hey kid eat lead phony all right so I just need to keep distracting him okay I just need hey, to keep Laura, grabbing his attention all right, you can go, Strickland. Go, Come go, on, go. go Tannen. Make like a tree and die, rat. Oh. Hey, had a girl. Hey, moron. Yeah. Moron this. Make sure she's safe. Are you shooting at me? Are you shooting at me? So, I'm afraid I'm finding it difficult to concentrate with all the bullets flying around my head, Mr. Crockett. Right. Okay. So I'm afraid. All right. So I still need to just distract him. Make go, Tannen. Make like a tree and die, rat. So do I just keep? I don't know. Don't think they need. Wanna light? I don't smoke. Go, Tannen. You want your flash back, Tannen? Come and get it. Come on. Hey, moron. More on this. No one messes with Kid Tannen. How am I going to do this? Go, Tannen. Make like a tree and die, rat. Okay, here we go. Yo, hey, Tannen. Lead, phony. Whoa. Are you shooting at me? Are you shooting at me? Hmm. Can I roll a barrel underneath there into the gap? Bowling for ten. Uh, this is not gonna be good. And now we're gonna wide it. Watch it go up. Right? Hey, kid! Ha! That ain't a real gun! Oh, right. I forgot. I better just get rid of it then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, crap. Nice! <coughs> hey, get him! Away. Oh, no! Oh shit, Emmett's on the roof. Oh, yes. this will be no. interesting. There! Good as new. Oh look, Tannen, the judge's son. Alright, Parker. I want a getaway car and a clear road to Nevada, or the brown kid gets it. Doc! Marty. Doc? Yes, it's me. I'm talking to you through the radio apparatus my younger self has installed in the rocket car. Okay. What's going What's on the plan? There? It's not good, Doc. Trixie and Parker did their part, but now Kid's holding you hostage. Right, Scott. No kidding. Try to get Kid in the car. Once he's inside, give me a signal, and I'll do the rest. How am I? You! Oh, shit. Emmett. <gasps> You're the cause of all of this, ain't you? Oh, Jesus Christ. Should have known. I mean... Hit it. See you, dude. Good to see you. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, Manua. Yes, they got the jerk in. Yes. 
Irving Tannen, I'm placing you under arrest for kidnapping, attempted murder, tax evasion, oh. and smelling like a piece of crap. Tax evasion? Haven't you heard? The feds are practically drooling over Trixie's books. Oh. Trixie. Nicely done. That's what you get for killing Artie, you bastard. What? I didn't... Trixie? Artie? Oh, nice. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right, we Grant. did a good. My poor car. I believe I owe you an apology, Mr. Brown. Thanks to your ridiculous contraption, Hill Valley's most notorious criminal is finally headed to prison. No apology yeah, necessary, that's all right. Strickland. My rocket car may have accidentally saved the day, but only because it's a completely out of control failure. I need a new idea. If you're yeah. willing to listen, I might have a few suggestions. There you First, go. I think we should take in a movie. I'm all yours, Mr. Brown. Aww. I think you'll like it. It's all about a brilliant scientist with an overabundance of hubris. Whew. Come on, Einie. Let's go find him. Yeah, let's go uh, find him. Ah, oh, we did so good. That was so good. Thanks for letting me fly the DeLorean, Doc. Oh, wait, this what? Was a blast. I'm absolutely sure that everything's back to normal. Totally. Well, He's we'll find out. Emmett's going to see Frankenstein, and there's no such thing as a tanning crime family in 1986. <laughs> And we remembered Einstein this time, too. Good. Hill Valley crime rate at all time low. Hmm. Well, except for Grandpa necking with Trixie, I think we're ready to go back to 1986. Hell yeah. You feel yourself fading out of existence? No. Then as long as your father's still born in seven years, I say, let your grandfather sow his oats. Ah, uh, so that's so good. Is that what's going on with you and Edna? Oh, bow chicka wow wow. What are you talking about? Emmett and Edna, they're going to go see Frankenstein together. Wow. That's hard. Oh, no. Oh, no. Doc's history. <gasps> no. Great Scott. What? Oh, shit. Oh. Something prevents him from seeing it. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, shit. So now we're going to go fix up ti uh, Doc's timeline. Oh, God. Oh no. Where'd you go? Yeah. Jack? We've got everything under control. Doc? Oh. What'd you do? What'd they become? What'd you become? Oh, that's cool. This is so fucking bizarre. What? Holy shit. Oh, in the next episode. Okay, we'll get to see a bit. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Yeah. Father George, Mother Lorraine, Hill Valley under Citizen Oh, Brown. wow. It's not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. A re-education program? What the hell? Please don't swear, Martin. It makes me uncomfortable. Oh, this is weird. Zero demerits. Until this morning. Has Doc taken over the fucking world? Fly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Oh. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is what happened to you? Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? Yeah. Well, this song is definitely going to cuck me over, but hey. Alright, well, let's leave it there. Holy shit. What an episode. My god. So, we will go into episode three. I'll give it a week or two to um, kind of settle in so that all of us 
can kind of take in what just happened and what we just saw in this episode, and then we can launch into episode three, but God, I'm, I'm loving this series. I, I'm kind of bummed out still that I didn't give it a fair go when I played it the first time, like, five years ago, but... It's it, it's good to come back to it with a new, fresh take on it and kind of be able to appreciate it a lot more than I did back then. So thank you guys for uh, recommending it. Uh, I think it came from you guys recommending it. So that was awesome. We're going to go with episode three, um, but I'm going to give it a week or two just to settle in so that we can reflect on what, ju- what just happened. There was a lot that happened in this episode. So... Um, Oh, it's a big episode, but it's going to be a really good one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed episode two of Back to the Future, the game. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to my social medias in the description box. And as always, there's a link to popyjn.com down below. PopyJN.com, of course, is your one-stop shop for everything PopyJM related, merchandise, upcoming live events, and our premium content subscription service. Everything is up there for you guys to check out. Make sure you do. Make sure you sign up to the premium content service if you haven't already. It's, (coughs) sorry, it's the price of like a coffee a month. It's $3 a month, but you get your first month absolutely free. And there's so much cool content going up there at the moment which I'm really excited about. All the Spider-Man DLCs are up there, the Last of Us DLCs. Um, Our podcast is over there, so make sure you sign up if you haven't already and check it out. But thank you guys. I hope you're having a fantastic week and December and Christmas season, wherever you are in the world. And until next time, I'm YouTube's PopyJN. Peace out. You kept picking me up just to put me down Kept pulling me together so that you could throw me around But it was far too late, we were far too high from the ground